Blue Devils, thank you. The, this is incredible. Uh, you're engaged in this. You're ready to go. You're ready to win this thing. And, and this was about what a privilege for me to be here, but what a privilege for all of us. There are billions of people around the world could only dream of gathering as free people to determine our future together, the type of government we want, the type of society that we want to live in. So uh, on behalf of Vice President, myself, and on behalf of all Americans, we're going to win this thing going right through Duke University. Let's go. Now, now I know you all get it. You're engaged. We've got a door knock coming up. This is a time when a lot of people need to be reminded what's at stake here. And it's not about putting fear in. It couldn't be clearer the difference in this. You've witnessed it on the stage. As Donald Trump descends into madness, Kamala Harris is out last night at a town hall taking all questions, answering the question, talking about this. And, and for each of you, I know where it's at. This is now the ground game. This is now the door to door. This is now, and look, you're here, you're engaged, but I know you've got friends who are like, my God, I'm taking a nap. I'm not going over there to watch this crap. And, and that's what you do. There are choices you could make. You made the choice to come here because you love this country and know how important it is to be a part of this process. And right now, you're not talking about the next four years. You're talking about the next 40 years. And you're not talking just about what you're going to do for North Carolina or even this country. We're talking globally. Because I know you run into your friends who say, ah, oh, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm just not that into politics. Too damn bad. Politics is into you. Um, it's into you. This is literally literally women's lives are at risk because of the policies they're putting in place there's no laws that dictate men's bodies and they want to put them towards women we're not going to have it happen and we're going to restore the protections of Roe we know how important it is You all get it. Things like climate change, things like jobs, trying to make life more affordable, the idea of buying homes, investing in this. Look, these things matter. Things like climate change that they're ignoring and doing nothing about, it, sometimes they pander to the youth, like we need the youth vote or whatever. Don't let anybody pander to you. The reason you're here is you're not going to let some old people who are going to be dead long before climate change does the destruction that it's going to be. You need to take charge of it. You need to make it. That's your voice being heard. And we see Kamala Harris with a to-do list for this country that is the to-do list that Americans want. We see Donald Trump with a grievance list. And so, look, I, I don't say this lightly because I, I didn't, in my 60 damn years, I didn't think I'd ever see a candidate for president praising Adolf Hitler's generals or talking about using the military against their enemies. And personally, I mean, this is, it, it's pretty stunning. And I said, look, I recognize I'm on the top of his list, but don't kid yourself. You're somewhere on that list, too, if you disagree with these people. That's who they are. And, and God asked last night, this guy's tendencies towards leaning towards dictatorship is un-American. It is, it is absolutely horrific, the things they're proposing. But here's what I say is, you know what's great about that? He is never going to be president again. He is never going to be president again. And, and you don't... You don't have to go and vote against that guy, although there is some great pleasure in that. For some of you, this dude has been on the national scene since you've been in elementary school and middle school. There are so many reasons to beat this guy, but one of them, it might be petty, but I'm going to own it. I just don't want to look at him anymore on TV. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. Because it, it's all about him. It's all about what he wants. It's all about what he says. That's not what this is about. You all learn this here. It's about servant leadership. It's about helping others. It's about contributing to your society. It's about doing the right things. And that's what all of you know you're doing. So look, the contrast couldn't be greater. The choice could not be greater. The stakes could not be higher. But I have to tell you, what a privilege to be in this moment. They are going to write about Americans who stood up in this moment and said, hell no to this the, the tendencies of totalitarianism and the division and the racism, the hatred, the misogyny, everything else that goes with that, you're going to get asked when you're my age, what did you do? And your answer is, I did every damn thing possible to win that election. I did everything possible. So, so on behalf of the vice president, this matters. 12 days. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. I know you hear it a lot and you know it. This election will run right through North Carolina. And if North Carolina, as it will because of your work, 
goes for Kamala Harris, we win this election. And that is something. We win this election. So, so for all of you, for all those right reasons or whatever, but just imagine 12 days to make a mark on the world for generations to come. 12 days to choose dignity and integrity and kindness over hate. I saw, I saw a couple editorials that said, well, you know, joy is not a strategy or whatever. Well, no one said it was a strategy, but I would damn sure rather to stand with joyful people than hateful people in things, and that's a thing. And I would sure rather stand with the middle class. We celebrate people's success, but the idea just, it, it's just gross when it gets to this. You got a guy like Elon Musk trying to buy an election. Buy, buy a bumper sticker if, if your parents or if you own a Tesla and say, you didn't know how weird he was when you bought it. Just put it over the top and get it. But look, that's not who we are. There's a place for everyone. And the thing that I would just close with for all of you that I, I am most proud of on this, Kamala Harris has made it clear she wants to be president for all Americans. The policy she's putting in place are going to benefit the people who are going to vote against us, and she's perfectly happy with that. Understanding that this is not about our ideology, this is not about us, it's not about, it's about the people, and it's about policies that work. And as I've been saying, I got asked the other day, what's, what's one of the proudest things you did in Minnesota? We certainly protected reproductive rights, we have paid family and medical leave, we have the most aggressive move towards climate change of any state in the country to reducing that, that's what we're moving on. But, but when I got asked, if you had to pick one governor, what is it? Well, in Minnesota, every single kid in Minnesota goes to school, gets free breakfast and lunch. Every day. Every day. So that's the morally the right thing to do, but it's also good policy because what we know is you get some choices in this world. And you can buy school buses and school meals, or you can buy prison buses and prison meals. We choose school buses. We choose the future. We choose forward. So for all of you here, Thank you. Make sure the door knocking's happening. This thing is, is far from over. These 12 days will determine what it is. Donald Trump and his team thinks putting on ads, demonizing people on TV, and dividing us, and making up lies about people who are in this country legally just trying to make it way, they think that's going to win it. But they don't realize what's going to win it is each and every one of you going to somebody and encouraging people to their better angels, encouraging them for an optimistic future, encouraging them to a better way forward. And let's turn the page and just cancel the Donald Trump show, move into the future. Let's elect Kamala Harris. Thank you all.